My parents told me that when I was little, I lined up my stuffed animals and my dolls, and I taught my stuffed animals and dolls. I don't really remember that. I come from a line of educators from both sides of my families. Um, it's in my blood. I just love it. There is nothing more exciting than being in a classroom, especially a classroom with teenagers and their hormones and whatever else they're gonna bring in and what's gonna happen today. There is no day that is like any other day. I can't do the academics if I don't do the personal. If the students are not gonna buy into what I'm doing, then it's gonna be a failure. So the classroom in my mind needs to be set up for success. And depending on the level of class, my standards for how I set that up are different. Um, but the students have to feel successful. They have to feel respected. I will do everything I can to always help a student feel included and respected in the classroom because I want to be respected in the classroom. Nothing that I did 30 years ago, 38 years ago, I don't use at all. It would, it would not work because that's not where the students are. And I think that's another reason that I absolutely love teaching. I can't use what I've always used because the students are different. The students are much more visual. The students' attention span is less. And so what I find is I need to have more visual. I need to have much less note taking, of course. The students are more collaborative, which I think is a great skill that they already have and so I want to use that. Um, when you were in here and we were playing the Kahoot game and I realized they got something wrong, so the question is, what can I do? Because that's a very, the point they got wrong actually was really important for them to get. And how can I make it somewhat of a teaching moment? And so that was, an, it's a tactic I've used before and I like it, but I've just developed it this year. Why is that correct? Why is it doing this? Why is that okay? correct? Yes, it does. How is subsistence farming an economic activity? Don't you, don't you eat it? Yeah, but isn't it for you? It is for me. But you don't sell it. So that I don't have to buy anything else. We're always changing. We have to change. Someone told me one time, do not ever give up on the students. Just do not. If they feel that, that you have given up on them, then you've lost the battle. So I want them to always think that I know they can do it. And I think I might have said it when you were in here. I don't know, a student said something and I said, no, I have faith and hope in you. I, you, I know you can do this. And so I want the students to leave knowing that I believe in them and I believe in what they can do.